The DBDC will be held in Boston from July the 28th to July the 31st, 2022. Welcome back. I am still with Mr. Tony Davalani, and we are going to continue discussing what happened at the recent Pro Rhythm in Manhattan, which actually is in Brooklyn. <laughs> it is a Manhattan borough, though. <laughs> <laughs> Placing fifth. Uh, once again, a final analysis was fifth in each dance. Coming up from Florida, we had Shandor and Evgenia. Uh, what were your feelings on this couple, Tony? You know, in watching this couple, because I've seen them dance many times, and, and it's so funny because in watching them dance over the years, there's times where they look very, I want to say, I mean, they, and I hope I don't insult them, but they're sluggish. And almost like, I, I don't want I, I hate to use this word, but kind of old. You know what I mean? In their movement. And, and it's almost like, I, I want some youthful energy in there. You know, and this time I thought they danced great. This is the best I'd seen them dance in, in probably in years. Um, I'm actually a fan of her. I think she's very fast. She's got great legs and feet. She moves beautifully. And when it comes to Shandor, I feel like he's way too far forward. And I think that's what's making him look a little bit sluggish at times, because you cannot create speed if you are off balance. And I felt like they were a little bit off balance. In fact, so much that at times he was even bothering her. You know, because she's, she's got these beautiful legs, beautiful body, moves beautifully, musical. And then, you know, and I could see that he feels music as well. However, I think their focus is more on connection. And when I say connection, it, it's different. Most people think of connection as hands. And, and he, that's what I feel like he's thinking. So he sometimes stops his body to lead. And to me, that's not a lead. That's more of a push and a pull. So if mm -hmm. he can actually start thinking about his body making the movement happen, his body making like his rhythmicality, his rib cage, his hip action, his usage of legs making the movement happen, I think they would start getting a lot faster, a lot more rhythmic, a lot clearer in a sense, and finishing their lines. Because a lot of times people think that American rhythm is all about the, the, the like almost like a little too inwards and smaller and this clubbish feel yes there is a clubbish feel to it however it's still a performance so that means you still have to project and you still have to create volume it's not always just inwards it has to go out in out in. so in other words it has to become a little bit more interesting so the dynamics of movement have become a little bit flat line i call it which means that mm -hmm. you're only producing one particular action or one particular move so for me, I like to see a heartbeat. I want to see high, I want to see low, I want to see level changes, <clears throat> you know, light and shade. I want to see speed, I also want to see slowness. You know, in order to, to really highlight your speed, you have to have slow moments. And when you have slow moments, that doesn't mean you stand still. And that's the other thing. That's, that's like the, the, the number one thing that I find that they do is when they stand, when they have a pause moment, they stand still instead of continuing the action through the movement. Uh, I always think of American rhythm as an infinity sign. You know, an infinity sign is a curved eight. It slows down, it speeds up, but it never stops. So as you're dancing, you have to ride that infinity sign as you're moving. So that way you're always creating movement, rhythm, artistry, musicality, and so on. So for me, that is a big part of dancing. And I found it with them. They deserve fifth, don't get me wrong. However, I felt like, and in fact, it showed more on their mambo because I did not like their mambo. It was all effect and no substance. It was like effect, 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 effect. I wanted to see body rhythm. I wanted to see intricacy. I wanted to see, you know, shine steps. I wanted to see when they looking at each other, when they're dancing with each other, that there's an actual reaction to it. Not just physically, but actually emotionally and visually and, you know, a flirtationist that goes with it. To me, each dance has its own story. Cha-cha flirtatious. Rumba is a first date. 
Swing is our first party that we went to. Valero is a wedding dance because it's the, the ultimate love dance, right? And then Mambo is your, you know, making love after your first fight. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, so there, there's got to be a little bit of passion in there, you know, a little anger, a little passion, a little love, a little, little bit of everything. And I felt like that's something that they need to work on. So I feel like their dynamics needed to be looked at. And I'm sure their coaches are going to address this. Because if they, I mean, they, they've been always at the cusp of making it. And now that make, they made the final in, in Manhattan, maybe this is a catapult for them where they feel like the confidence can come in there. And now they can start working on these particular things because I feel like you definitely need skill and speed to make it to the final. But once you get to the final, you have to show rhythmicality, artistry, and power. Great answer, Tori. Uh, I hope the guys uh, get to hear all of this. Well, all right. Uh, here's the thing, though, because this is something that's interesting. I don't know who they work with, but I, I have a tendency because I've run into this recently a lot. And this is something that's kind of bothering me a little bit because a lot of these couples do take with different style coaches. I'm not against that. I am definitely not opposed to that. However, when it comes to American rhythm mechanics, mechanics the mechanical movement of american rhythm or this the, the the actual identity of american rhythm international coaches don't understand it i'm sorry but don't they think that american rhythm is this bent leg this forward leaning this effect driven dance where american rhythm the name itself tells you what it is it's rhythm if you don't produce musicality through your body and all you produce is effects then you're not dancing in my book. So I, I, I just hope that they are making the right choices to, to change these mechanics. There's plenty of wonderful former champions and wonderful American rhythm mechanical teachers out there that they can probably help them with this. And I just hope that they go to the right people because I just recently had one of my couples come back from a coaching that a particular coach told them, you know, what they thought of American rhythm and they were dancing it. And let me tell you something, they lost speed, they lost agility, they lost all these things. And I was like, what, what are you guys doing? Like, wh why are you working on this? When you work on, you know, with people that don't necessarily understand your style fully, then you need to find out what their strengths are. If it's speed, if it's spins, if it's stretching, if it's musicality and all that, and work on that. Don't work on mechanics with people that don't necessarily understand American style mechanics. This whole idea that American style is bent leg, it drives me insane because it is not. It is a movement through the leg, but it's created by the body. And the leg does straighten, okay? It says bend straight. It does not say bend and stay bent. And if you want to look slower, <laughs> you're stuck in the mud, by all means, keep bending your leg. Uh, <laughs> Never get my mark, I can oh, tell you. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, oh, this is once again, that's, that's good. Hey, this is, you know, you get up this time of the morning, we want to hear Mr. Davalotti's uh, opinion. And you know, by God, good. you just give it to me. This is our life, Chris. We've been around the ballroom for so long. and. We, I, and I'm sure you, you share in this opinion as well. You see couples make constantly the wrong choices. And it's funny because I, I, I remember making the wrong choices myself. But the one thing that I didn't do is I never bought into somebody else knowing what American style was better than what my American style coaches explained. And it's so mm -hmm. funny because in a technique books, in the original technique books in the Fred Astaire, it describes exactly what American style is. And I remember having coachings with a great Dagmar Yarvel when I was a brand new teacher. And she explained it in such a beautiful way and how the body moves and how you can move through, through space without having to give up all these other accolades that you can develop through your body. And it's funny because I remember Jose and I used to go to salsa clubs. We used to go to Latin quarters in Copacabana. And that is dancing in its rawest. But that's, mm -hmm. you, you can see musicality, you can see rhythm, you can see isolations, you can see things that are so amazing. And if, when you when applied with the ballroom projection, with the ballroom uh, sophistication, with the, with the performance level that goes with it, and if you could combine those two worlds, you could get some really great dancing out of it. And the problem is a lot of times when people try to become too authentic, 
they end up giving up all those little accolades that they've developed over the years. Because mm-hmm. a lot of couples are very well trained in many different styles, but for some reason they put themselves in these boxes that they don't necessarily belong to. I have to agree with you. I have to agree with you. All right, uh, we're going to move on and now see who finished fourth. Hey guys, we are going to be back in a minute with more from the Pro Rhythm at the recent Manhattan Dance Board Championships.